forward to hearing Dr. Woods speak. He's an excellent speaker. I've seen some of his lectures online. I hope to be similarly captivated tonight. Who's cooler, Ron Paul or Tom Woods? Tough call. I like Tom because he's snarky. We'll take care of it. It's fine. Okay. Higher than I expected them to be, and we're we're forcing issues into the conversation that aren't even supposed to be on the edges of polite society, and yet we're asking them, and we're giving our answers, and we're able to get around the gatekeepers of opinion. And um, I mean, in a way, the, the only way I've been part of it is that I'm simply still sa I'm saying things that I said five years ago, but nobody listened <laughs> five years ago, and, and uh, now there's a big audience for this. I, I, I couldn't, you know, it, it was harder to crack through in the old days. But now you can talk about the Federal Reserve, and there's a ready-made audience that is all ready to hear this and uh, respond. And so I'm glad. I mean, I'm really a beneficiary of this as much as anything else. I feel like this is a little low. Can, it, can everyone hear me? Is this good? Okay. Is there any students here? Any of you take public speaking? Yeah, it's a waste of credits. Doesn't really help. But <laughs> I'm Sam Spazer. I'm the president of Young Americans for Liberty at IU Bloomington. Firstly, I'd like to thank all of the sponsors that helped donate to this event. That way, we could really stick it to the econ department. <laughs> A little bit about Young Americans for Liberty. We are nonpartisan. We, our main platform is we respect individual liberty, constitutional government, free markets, sound money, and a non-interventionist foreign policy. If you like, if you like the event tonight, um, you know we have Ron Paul coming October 25th, and if you like the things we do. <laughs> You know, we'd appreciate, we'd appreciate it if, uh, if you would make a pledge and donate or we'll have bins, the ushers will have, can collect money on the way out to make sure that Young Americans for Liberty can continue to be that beacon for freedom at IU. Now, you know, we talk about some things that maybe a few professors um, maybe have overlooked and we'd like to make sure that we fill the gap, so that's what we're here for. A little bit about Dr. Woods. He holds a bachelor's from Harvard and a master's and PhD from Columbia. So I, I heard that the econ department said a li something about, you know, he wasn't academically credible. Well, uh, if Harvard and Columbia are not credible, then uh, I don't know what that says for IU. <laughs> He's a senior fellow at the Ludwig von Mises Institute, which is one of the most prominent free market economic think tanks in the world. Take that, IU. <laughs> He's a two-time New York Times best-selling author, one of the books being Meltdown, which is a free market look at why the economy tanked and why government intervention will make everything worse. And that's what he's speaking about tonight. And in that, Dr. Woods not only reflects, but complements the free market values of Young Americans for Liberty. So with that, I introduce Dr. Thomas Woods, Jr.